this video we're going to take a look at the magic menu that we've um, supplied with this edition of 123 Muse. So we wanted to add a bit of sparkle to the menus. We've taken a look at the great things that you can do in Muse with menus and compositions to build all kinds of menu units. Let's add a little bit of um, razzle to these menus. I'm going to drag the magic menu demo onto the page. And what we've done with this is, this is the starting point. We've applied certain styles. If I select this first button here, this first tab, and we go to our graphic styles, you can see that we've applied graphics and character, graphics and paragraph styles to this menu because they are used by the, um, the widgets to pick up on the various elements so that they can do their magic with them. So we've built this nice simple little menu here and if we hit preview we can see that we have this really nice effect happening with our menu. Now this is just a normal Muse menu but we have this really cool effect happening and you can still modify this to whatever you want. You can change all the settings, you can change the labels, you can have it as either a manual menu or a Muse generated menu. Um, it doesn't matter, um, but start with the, the demo and modify the demo rather than starting with a menu completely from scratch from the widgets library. Now we have two parts of this widget. We have our settings and in our settings here, we can do all kinds of things. We can um, we can we want to include the menu effects. That's something we do want to do. We can add a hover transition, fade transition. So this will add um, rather than it being an on-off transition where it just goes from one to the next, we it'll apply fade. So if you've got a color change, it'll fade from one color to the next. Uh, just makes it smoother. If you have the right arrow on. Um, so if we had, if we switch that on, we're going to switch that to once with submenus only, and now we preview, we get this, notice how the icon rotates as well, which is a really cool little addition, so that's nice, um, and then we also have, um, we can set the orientation of that arrow so we can set what kind of speed, where we want it to start and finish and so on. So we can do some cool stuff with that. Now next to it is this little FX block and we have quite a few different effects blocks for you. So let's see how these work. So this one is the speech bubble effect, but if I remove that and I go back to my library and let's put on the shrink and grow effect. So we just nudge that up to the settings there. We hit preview. And we can see now that our menu items grow when you roll over them, which is cool. We have lots of different settings there. You can set where you want the, the grow to start from the center, from the top, from the bottom and so on. Let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at rotate, for instance. Now you guessed it, this makes the menu items rotate. Let's uh, set it to a negative degree so we can have it rotating clockwise and counterclockwise. And here we go. Now we have our menu items just rotating. I wonder what would happen if we rotated the angle by 180 degrees. Let's have a look what happens. <laughs> Completely upside down. So you may not want to do that, but you can do it if you wish. And we have lots more. We have these shadow effects. Now I really like this shadow effects unit that we have here. It's very subtle, but I like it. So let's preview that. And we have this nice little contact shadow here underneath and the button just hovers there so that's really nice as well so we have lots of different widget options here we have the rotate we have the shadow we have floating we have a skew effect a wobble effect and we have a buzz effect as well so 
there's lots of different things to play with. I'm not going to show you them all because I think it's more fun for you to play with them. But as I say, start with the demo menu, which is here, drag that on first, and then swap out these blocks. You can even combine some of these blocks together to use multiple effects and depending the order that you stack them next to each other. So we could stack, let's say we've got the, the hover effect here and let's add the grow and shrink. And let's just nudge them up for neatness. And we hit preview. Let's see what happens now. Ooh, nothing. So maybe those two don't work together. But please play with it. It's a really fun little thing. Now, if you've watched the Dan's video on navigation, you want to make sure that your navigation is suited for the task in hand. So don't just use this because it's fun and it looks nice. Um, it needs to be appropriate, but if you've got a simple menu like this, or you want to, you could even, here's an idea, why not just use one button, just delete all the others, use the navigation unit as a button, and then you could animate that, say for a download button, or click here to buy, and then it adds uh, more attention to it because it's animated. So you can do all sorts of things with the magic menu widget and the standard muse menu. Have fun. Thanks for watching.